everybody, this is Blessing Bletch Manga. I am from Zimbabwe and I'm so excited to be part of, uh, to give you a little lesson on the instrument that I play called the marimba. This is our national instrument in Zimbabwe. Remember to press like, share and comment on this amazing lesson that we have. And a big shout out to Nathaniel Music School for giving me this opportunity. And I hope you're going to learn something. So a brief history about me. I'm a drummer. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, rather let me say I was a drummer for 10 good plus years as, as a session drummer. And so I learned a lot about, you know, your drum patterns and routines and exercises and how to play with your sticks and things like that. And it was easy for me to transfer that same um, concepts, for example, paradiddles to the instrument and now in use that concept of drumming on this instrument. Actually, the marimba is in the percussion uh, family, so they actually go hand in hand. And the advantage that you now have on the marimba is you can now play melodies, you can now play chord progressions and things like that. And these are some of the things I'll be sharing in this lesson. Remember to share and like and subscribe to this channel. So let's go. This is the marimba. It's tuned to C. Mine is tuned to C. I got C, D, E, F, F sharp, G, A, B, C. C, D, E, F, F sharp again, G, A, B, C. So I can basically play in two major scales. That's my C major and my G major. And of course, I've got the minors in there. That's your sixth, your A minor, and your E minor if I'm playing in G. And I can mess around with the F sharp as much as I can, uh, especially when I'm in G. So I can do a lot. And today, in our day and age, we are trying to use this instrument in your jazz, in your R&B, and different genres, and playing the concepts that I use in those genres. For example, in blues, when I'm in G, I've got the, uh, the advantage of playing that F as my seventh. And so you can make use of this instrument in as many genres as possible. I'm going to start with a typical Zimbabwean groove that's in 6-8. So I'm counting 1 and 3, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and ta 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 ta
one and the two and the three and the four and the five and the six and the seven and the eight and the one and the two and the four and the five and the six and the seven and you wanna count zero and the three and the four and the five and the six and the seven and the eight and the one and the two and the four and in there I can even start to About six eight. Let me play something in four four, and I'm going to use a common uh, exercise for drums, and that's paradiddles. Our parties are right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, left. Now you're gonna hear me putting it in a progression. I'm playing CFG, and hear me putting those paradiddles in a progression. For example, how, as you know, as a drummer, it's not in, you can't pay paradiddles the whole song. Paradiddles are there to help you to throw in maybe as a feel or maybe as part of your um, opening of the song or something. That is the same thing I do on the marimbas. I may be playing something simple like... Developing, I'm using the party as part of my development of the variations rather than just playing four minutes off. I can include. Uh... So that's paradiddles. And of course, closing my lesson, one of the critical things for me was uh, just learning how to do speed as a drummer. And I think the times I was a drummer, that's the era when chopping and all these uh, things in, uh, came and invaded our music industry, even in Africa. And what I learned about speed is when it's appropriate to use it. And that's the message I want to leave with all the rhythm players and especially drummers. It's good to have speed. It's good to have the technique, but know where to place it when you're playing. And for me, even now when I play marimba, I'm the lead uh, instrumentalist and the lead vocalist in my band but because I know there's so much that's happening in the music I know when to put that speed especially when it's time for my solo because the rest of the band is keeping the rhythm is keeping me tight I have freelance now but imagine if the song is happening then woo, 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 woo. It's, it doesn't have order. So that's my last message to you. Make sure that when you have speed on whatever instrument that you're playing, especially drummers and percussion players, know when to use it. So, for example, I don't have the band with me today, but I'm going to play four bars, for example, keeping tight, keeping the rhythm going before I start messing around and going around with speed and all that stuff. So...
have big advantage now as a marimba player because all this speed, I learned it when I was a drummer. So you have advantage when you have some of these instruments that are in the same family because you can take those concepts that you learned in the other sibling and use it on the other sibling. And for me, I'm taking a lot of drum patterns, drum grooves, drum thinking, drum exercises and putting them on the marimba. Especially with these ones, now you've got some weight coming on the mallets. So there's a lot of practice that you have to do consistently so you can get used to the stick size, get used to the bouncing that you don't have on the drums and perhaps match up with the speed and the happening of a drummer. My name is Blessing Blechimang again. I'm from Zimbabwe. Remember to keep on loving, following and liking this amazing channel. And a big shout to Nathaniel Music School for having me all the way from Zimbabwe to give this topic. Remember to subscribe and we continue to give you good, different and amazing music from Africa, from all over the world. We love you and see you soon.